Hi everyone, it's Derek and welcome to GamerBody. In this video, we're going to go over whether or not you should take mass gainers or meal replacements in order to pack on size and muscle. So as someone who used to be very skinny when he was younger and aimed to pack on muscle and size, this question came up for me a long time ago on whether or not I should use something like a meal replacement shake or mass gainers in order to help me along. Now looking back to when I started, no, I never did use a mass gainer or a meal replacement shake of any type, but I wanted to cover the question here in case you are looking to do so with the information I have now. Now looking even now as someone if I was starting today, I still would not look into using a meal replacement shake or a mass gainer. The reason is using these replacement shakes aren't really solving one of the major issues you're probably having, which is you're not eating enough food for how much energy you are personally burning each day. Now, each person can be different. You actually tend to burn more calories if you are more heavy set, as your body's trying to get down to a more natural level. Whereas if you're really skinny, your body's probably gonna try and hold on to more energy, but it really depends on how much you're doing things like moving during the day, even like tapping your foot or being jittery or different things, stressors in your life, whatever that are causing you to burn more calories than you are consuming. So with this information in mind, you need to make sure that you are actually eating in a calorie surplus. Again, if you're not tracking this, this is a lot harder than you may think because you're probably under consuming way more than you think you are. So mass gainers and meal replacement shakes can be beneficial to those who maybe don't have enough time to make a meal. So say you're running low on time, you need to get out the door to work. You could quickly make a shake, like a mass shake, or use something like Soylent in order to have that as a meal replacer to get to your job or wherever you're going on time. However, I wouldn't use this as your day-to-day -day type of go-to. Instead, I would focus on the principles that will get you the size and muscle over time the right natural way um, by eating whole food sources and using proper training techniques. Now, here are some tips I can give in order to help pack on muscle. Um, that I used when I was initially starting and I didn't know what I was doing, but this is what I did in order to pack on 20 pounds of muscle in about a year and a half. So the first thing you want to do is you want to focus on the compound lifts. Now the compound lifts tend to be as follows. The first one is the bench press. The second exercise is the overhead press. The third exercise is a squat. And the fourth one is a deadlift. Now the last one I like to throw in as well are dips. So if you focus on these exercises as being your cream of the crop and the ones that you go and lift really heavy on, you're going to pack on a lot of size and muscle because these are major compound movements that require your body to do a lot of work and it's going to break down those muscles. So as long as you provide the proper nutrients to recover, you're going to grow in order for your body to withstand that type of tension and breakdown the next time you work out. Now that you're doing the main compound movements, we need to recover. So in order to do that, you must be eating in a calorie surplus in order to be building the proper muscle and size that you're looking for. If you are someone brand new to fitness, I actually only recommend that you focus on these compound lifts as they can be kind of technical in nature, but once you nail it and you're doing them proper and you can lift uh, pretty heavy weights with them, then we can move on to the isolation exercises. But when you start out, I highly, highly recommend that you just focus on the heavy compound lifts unless you have some kind of injury holding you back from doing so. And the third thing you want to do is optimize your hormones and especially being a guy, testosterone is a really big one, but you want to make sure you're getting enough, again, like sleep, um, you're going to be training properly, eating properly, and avoiding as much stress or continuous stress on something as you can in order to have your body properly recover and build the size and strength that you're looking for. Now I know none of this is all that flashy, but these are the principles that you need to learn and have the foundation for in order to actually build size and strength, muscle, whatever your goals are looking for going from the hard gainer approach. So doing this is going to take time. No, you're not gonna be able to do one 30 day program and pack on 20 pounds of muscle. That is not going to happen. You need to put in the time and effort in order to achieve these kind of results. It doesn't mean you need to be in the gym for two hours a day. You could probably do it as little as 45 minutes to an hour per day, doing just the compound lifts and proper recovery but you need to make sure you're doing this consistently in order to get the results that you're looking for, which I would say 20 pounds of muscle is probably gonna take you at least a year, if not a year and a half to two years. And again, that is for someone probably just starting out. If you've been working out for a long period of time, this is gonna take a lot longer for you to do than someone who is just starting. So when I first started lifting, I actually didn't do any kind of tracking, anything like that. And I was burning a lot of calories per day. That's why I was so skinny when I first started. When I went into college the year before I started lifting, I was 165 pounds at 5'11", which is pretty small, especially for an athlete playing baseball on our team. So I, even my coaches were like, you need to put on some size. 
But in order to do that, I actually had to go to the gym, which I wasn't doing until my sophomore year of college. So when my sophomore year of college did start, I focused again on the main heavy lifts. Um, and that's what got me to the results that I really was able to achieve within that year and a half period of putting on 20 pounds of muscle. And now I'm able to build and maintain from home by sticking to those same principles. I don't really have a bench or anything I can use here, but I stick the same overload principles and the major exercises in order to get the results. So back in college when I was eating, I did not really track what I was eating and I ate a lot, a lot of crappy food. This included things just like having a lot of french fries, starbursts, uh, 24 packs of Mountain Dew where I'd go through about six Mountain Dews a day while gaming, things like that that were just terrible, terrible for you. However, they did pack in the calories I needed to grow in size, so I was able to build a lot of muscle and strength. And because I was going from a smaller size to a larger, um, trying to be more muscular size, it was easier for me to go that way. It did take a lot of time, but I was able to put on the muscle because I was able to provide the calories my body needed to recover. Now, was I in the most optimal state to recover? Probably not, but because I was still providing enough uh, calories and energy for my body to do so, it allowed my body to recover and build the muscle I was looking for. If I was to go back, I'd definitely focus on more of a broken up plate structure where, where my current one is I do half fibrous carb, one quarter of the plate starchy carb, and then another quarter is a protein source. So I'd probably try and gear it around that type of plate but because I can't go back in time, I'm doing that now in order to get the best results I can. So once you do pack on the size and muscle you are looking for, this is where you need to go into maintenance mode. So again, you may need to track what you were eating for about one to two weeks, as well as figure out where your calories kind of are on, are on average day to day. Now again, calories or how much energy you burn can go up and down day to day. So it's not some kind of stagnant thing based on how much you're eating, based on your weight, all of those kind of things can change it. But figure out where you are now and focus on trying to have that many calories per day and stay in your maintenance phase once you get to the body that you are looking for. If you find you're going too high above in terms of calories or too low, you may need to adjust the plan as necessary in order to get the body you want to achieve. So my final recommendation is anyone looking to put on size, strength, and mass, you need to be eating at least the three meals a day and you may need to have snacks in between those meals in order to have enough calories. Now this is completely dependent on the person of course. I don't know how active you actually are during your day, but if you're someone small in size looking to build muscle, you need to be eating enough calories again in order to recover properly. Recovery is the name of the game because that's where the gains are made. A lot of people overlook this thing that just by training they're gonna get the results, but really comes in how many calories you're eating after the fact to allow your body to recover from the workout that you just did. And as long as you stay consistent and do it for a long enough period of time, you will get the results you're looking for. And that's what I was able to do in order to pack on again, 20 pounds of muscle and about 185 pounds, which is exactly where I'd like to be moving forward. All right, and that is it for should you take mass gainers or other meal replacements in order to build size and strength. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Also, if you'd like to check out my current program that I am running, please head over to gamerbody.com and opt in to my email newsletter. From there, you'll be able to check out my current program I'm running, as well as any equipment I'm currently using or other similar programs I am running in order to get in the shape I am today from my little apartment. All right, and that's it for this video. So again, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.